Welcome back to Investor Intel at PDAC 2018. I'm joined today by Aidan Davey. And Aidan, you're the Chief Operating Officer on the International Council of Metals and Mining. Did I get that right? That's right. Excellent. What are you seeing at PDAC this year? It's been a really interesting PDAC. I've been coming to PDAC for about six, seven years now. Okay. And so I've kind of lived with PDAC through the best of times and the worst of times. Especially the worst. <laughs> and it's been fascinating, you know, because I think even when the industry was going through the toughest times, and particularly we're thinking about 2015, you know, still going into 2016, PDAC, you know, has remained resolutely kind of optimistic throughout that whole, that whole kind of cycle. Mm -hmm. But it's still been kind of very, very different, and I think very gratifying to see there being much more optimism here than we've had for a couple of years now. Well, from what I understand, you have quite a background in the critical metals and in sustainability. So what themes do you see in 2018? Interesting. You know, for, for 2018, and, and my background is I'm a sustainability professional. I've worked in this space for about 30 years. And the organization I represent, we work with 25 companies. They work across continents, across commodities. And collectively, they represent something like 30 to 50 percent of global production of, of major metals. But, but when I look at the trends that I see for the industry, there's, there's kind of like four big trends that I'm, that I'm seeing as being really important in 2018. One is, you know, climate change is critically important, both in terms of the risk and the, the opportunity space. A second one is around the, the whole issue of contested ownership of resources. You know, some call it resource nationalism. I, I tend to avoid that term, but, but that I think is a big, big issue for the sector. The third has got to be you know, the rise in, in ethical, consuming face, ethical consumer facing companies. And the fourth is probably around gender, which has been an issue that's been, been coming for this industry for a while and it's very much here. Wow, those are some pretty broad subjects. Um, so let's, you know, let's pick one. What do you think of those trends is going to matter the most in 2018? I think uh, they're all going to be they're all going to be critically important, but if, I, if let's take the climate trend, trend because sure. that kind of connects into the consumer-facing company trend as well. So I think historically this industry has been slow to engage on climate change, but in the past decade has really started to engage in a much, much more proactive way. But again, I think the initial entry point around this was, was very much looking at it through a risk lens. It's been around to what extent are we contributing to uh, carbon emissions, to what extent can we limit our impact in that space, but also to what extent can we make our operations more climate resilient. And I think that's been a primary kind of focus. What's changing now is the conversation increasingly is one around what's the role of this industry in looking at the transition to a low carbon future. And that's, that's very different for the mining and metals industry than oil and gas. Oil and gas arguably is faced with an existential crisis by the, uh, the, you know, the, the increasing attention around climate change. Right. Whereas for this industry, there's a, there's a huge opportunity. And what sort of companies do you see benefiting from those opportunities? I think it's, you know, there are a whole range of commodities that are going to be critically important in making that transition to a low carbon future. Whether you're talking about the, the critical metals and some of the, the rare earth metals, that's essential, fundamental. But in terms of some of the macro commodities, you know, copper is a critical part of the solution here. Iron ore is a critical part because if you are building large scale infrastructure, you know, that's going to be an in, large scale infrastructure around low carbon economy. That's an incredibly important commodity, but also things like aluminium, fundamentally important. So, you know, the, the, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of those kind of macro kind of metals that are going to do very well, I think, through the increased focus on transition to low carbon future. But cobalt, cobalt, lithium, these are going to be huge as well, as is nickel. Okay, you brought up cobalt, so I've got to ask, do you think we will ever see viable cobalt mining for the sake of cobalt mining, or is it always going to be an offtake product? Very, very fair question. And look, I, I, I think it kind of depends. You know, so often it's associated with copper. But interestingly, you've got this cobalt-copper nexus where these are both critically, critically important. 
for that transition to a low-carbon low economy. So in some ways, the argument is moot. They are both kind of critically important. And so if you can get them both at the same time, fantastic. So copper over $3 a pound starts to solve the cobalt problem. Uh, you... Arguably, it may well do. Uh, anything else you want to tell investors today? I guess the other thing I would say is that, you know, again, this industry has for quite a long time uh, been one that you know, hasn't really had much attention from consumer-facing companies. Okay. Uh, not in the same way we've seen in industries like the, the footwear and the apparel sector, uh, or indeed in the agribusiness supply chains. But suddenly, uh, our, our industry is getting a lot of attention from consumer-facing companies in electronics and auto, and they are driving a level of attention to some of the issues that I deal with on a day-to-day -day basis in the sustainability space, whereby this is no longer going to be a nice to have, it's going to be an essential to have and particularly to be able to show that you're doing the right thing at the operational level. Well, I think the risk of brand damage if you get seen on the wrong side of almost anything is enormous, especially in the social media world. Anyways, thank you so much for coming in, Aiden. Pleasure sure. meeting you. Great we'll to meet you, Jim. Thank you for the opportunity. Sure.